got zucchini. <laughs> Want something else to do with it besides making zucchini bread? I have all the answers. <laughs> I tell you what, after years and years of growing zucchini and them just coming out of your ears, you can't give them away anymore. You come up with creative solutions to use this stuff. So I got a couple quite extra large, or one extra large zucchini and a little bit over large yellow straight neck squash. I'm gonna be grading these up today for future uses. But I thought it would be a great opportunity to share with you like just all the ways you can use zucchini. Um, so first off, I don't know if you are interested or not. I don't peel it. I grate the peeling seeds and all unless it was like super big and like really, really mature seeds, like these are just nothing seeds in here. Um, then I might scoop out the middle seeds a little bit. But I have gone and developed an entire playlist for you guys on everything you can do with your zucchinis. So preserving just plain zucchinis my favorite way to do it if I'm just preserving zucchinis is I'll make mock pineapple either in wedges or shredded to use in future dishes. Anything that you would use pineapple in and that can be things like sweet and sour, um, sweet and sour chicken, sweet and sour shrimp, um, throw it in muffins, donuts, dump cakes, really anything that you would use pineapple in. Any kind of dessert, I've made like a mock pineapple upside down cake with it. So uh, that's kind of like the sweet version of preserving zucchini. Oh, hold on. What about some zucchini bread jam? Mm. <laughs> I made that for the first time last year. Oh my goodness, it's divine. It is so, so good. I know I recently had somebody ask me, based on that video, if they could add nuts to it. And I wouldn't recommend that just because I don't think that you could safely water bath can with nuts. You could probably force you to pressure can it then. Um, and I just don't know enough about canning things with nuts in it, to be honest with you. Um, and what else? Oh, so what am I specifically shredding this up for? And I will continue to do this. I've already made my annual zucchini bread. So that has been made. It's actually still sitting on my counter. Um, and we're just snacking on that. That's one of the first zucchinis always gets turned into zucchini bread here. And I think that it should. That's just a wonderful way to use it. But this I'll keep doing this process with all my zucchinis coming in. Um, so I have quite a lot. I would say I would shoot for about 20 cups of shredded zucchini. And I will add this to two things. When I can my salsa, I have a wonderful tomato zucchini salsa recipe that honestly you would never even know zucchinis in it. And it really just extends your pantry, how much you get. Um, and also last year for the first time ever, I did the same thing and added it like to my um, spaghetti sauce. And it really extended my yield on spaghetti sauce. Um, so I will be doing that again. And this year I plan on sharing that video with you just because I don't have a video. Um, it'll be the exact same recipe, but just adding zucchini. Um, now for savory dishes, like this week alone, we made that TikTok feta cherry tomato pasta recipe. And I sliced up a zucchini and put it in there. That was absolutely delicious. Um, I've made zucchini egg bites. 
I really recommend you not make them on a sheet pan like I did because that didn't work out so well. They really should be made in a um, like mini muffin tin. Um, and I just don't have one of those, but they were delicious. And we froze them quite well and then just thawed them out for breakfast. And they were super good. Um, I've made pre-made a big batch of turkey zucchini meatballs. Or you could pre-make a whole bunch of turkey zucchini meatloafs or pork or any kind of meat that you like. And then you just freeze it and you have freezer ready meals. Um, we have done, uh, not necessarily a preserving way, but you can cut these in half, these bigger ones, scoop out the middle and make like zucchini boats. We've done that before. Um, of course, just grilled zucchini. That's pretty standard. Um, what else have I done that's in that playlist? Oh, zucchini brownies. I swear it'll be the best brownies you ever make in your life. They're true like lunch lady brownies, that fudgy gooey texture and that there's an icing that goes on it. And I tell myself I'm not cheating too bad because I'm eating veggies. <laughs> but um, that's, I just wanted to, I guess, bring this video to you to say, cause I get so many comments like, Rachel, what do you do with all your zucchini? And this is what I do. As it comes in, I shred it, I throw it in the freezer and then I use it um, in my preserving. So, um, you know, if I, I should say, if I had like five or six come in in a week, I might go ahead and shred them up and directly process them into like my mock pineapple. But for now, while they're just still trickling in, I'll just keep grating them and storing them in the freezer and then we'll pull out these bags. I might drain off a little bit of the water because you'll get a lot of water content when you freeze and thaw zucchini and then toss it in with my salsa and spaghetti sauce will be the primary goal. Um, I did can. Um, I just wanted to do a test batch of just a quart of canned zucchini. Just slice it, can it. And I will tell you, ah, I won't do that again. It just turns to mush. It's not worth it in my mind. You gotta find something that you can put it in. Soups, stews, sauces. Um, now water bathing, it didn't turn to mush because with water bathing, you can water bath it in the pineapple juice safely. And um, it still maintains its texture really well. And then, oh, I know the other thing is um, my zucchini relish. Much prefer that over um, like relish made out of cucumbers. So if you want your cucumbers to go further for pickles and things like that, you can use your zucchini to make a zucchini relish. And it's super, super good. Um, about it for our, so I put this playlist together for you guys I'm gonna link it here and at the end of the video I'll put it down in the description as well and I hope it just gives you some inspiration on ways that you can use it if you have any questions about those specific recipes or anything like that just leave it in the comment of that video and I'll see it and try to get back with you um, but don't give it away well, you can share, of course, but don't give it all away just because you're bored of zucchini bread because there is so much other things that you can do with your zucchini and yellow squash. All right, thanks for coming in the kitchen today. Just a quick prep video so that I can share with you. Don't fret if you have a counter overflowing with zucchini. There's a thousand things you can make with it. Have a great time preserving your harvest, and I hope you're having a fantastic time just enjoying the reward. I'll talk to you guys later.